In a remote corner of the earth lies a place shrouded in mystery, once whispered to be a site of terror, infamous for eerie sounds resembling human screams. This is the Kola Super Deep Borehole. But what is its real story? During the Cold War in the 1970s, the Soviet Union, vying for global supremacy, launched an ambitious project on the Kola Peninsula near Norway. The goal was monumental, to drill through the Earth's crust. The first phase went smoothly, reaching 7,263 meters, making it the deepest hole in Europe at the time. However, the second phase proved far more challenging. Extreme heat and pressure at the bottom of the well caused constant equipment failures. Drills broke and the pipes often collapsed. By June 1979, they reached 9,584 meters, surpassing the United States' record and becoming the deepest point humans had ever dug. But the Soviet scientists weren't satisfied. They aimed for 15,000 meters. By the end of 1983, they hit 12,000 meters. Progress had slowed, but their goal seemed within reach. Then, strange events began. The borehole was frequently blocked by unknown obstructions, and drill bits failed more and more often. Over the next 10 years, they advanced only another 262 meters. Finally, in 1994, at a depth of 12,262 meters, a sensor allegedly recorded a horrifying sound, like the tormented screams of countless people. Many speculated they had drilled into hell. The Soviet government abruptly stopped the project, officially citing a lack of funds. Although research continued for several more years, funding ran out completely in 2008. The site was abandoned and sealed with a rusty metal cap. Scientists later cast doubt on the story. The original recording equipment was never found, leading many to believe the sounds from hell were fabricated or simply a hoax. Regardless of the legends, one fact remains. The Kola Super Deep Borehole is still the deepest vertical hole ever dug by humankind. Even so, this incredible depth represents less than 0.2% of the Earth's radius. Drilling through the planet, it seems, remains firmly in the realm of science fiction.